everyone, welcome back to weekly Korean live class. My name is Kejun. 안녕하세요, Kejun입니다. And 안녕하세요, Chimchi입니다. Hello, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Well, this is real live. This is not recorded, so I can read all your comments right now. So please, please leave lots of comments. So. Welcome, welcome back, everyone. How are you guys? 잘 지냈어요? 저는 엄청 잘 지냈어요. 저는 여행했어요. So I, uh, I've been doing very well. I traveled. So you probably noticed my face is a little bit different. <laughs> What is different? First, first, 뾰루지가 났어요. <laughs> 뾰루지가. 뾰루 Oops, let me show you the screen first. 짠! 뾰루지가 났어요. I got a pimple here. So 뾰루지 or another name of this. <laughs> this is 여드름. 여드름이 났어요. So 났어요. 났어요. Literally means literally means it came out, came out. So I got pimple. 여드름이 났어요. 월뾰루지가 났어요. <laughs> And I'm just back from my trip, so I was very tired. So I have a little bit <laughs> swollen face today. Swollen face. In Korean, that is 얼굴이 부었어요. I have swollen face. My face is a little bit, little bit puffy, or my face is a little bit uh, swollen. <laughs> 안녕하세요. <laughs> 안녕하세요, Kishor, Brian, uh, Ajay, Chris, Kwati, and Emily. <laughs> Crown, Anjani, e a Sahasel, na. Okay, so Jasmine, <laughs> Christopher, Shiva, I'm trying to read everyone's name if possible. Joshua, Jalel, Jeun, 안녕하세요, 안녕하세요. So please keep re leaving a comment so I'll keep reading it. So Kailun, 안녕하세요. Okay, great. <laughs> not, only, not only that, I also got tanned a lot. <laughs> anyway, I hope you are doing very, very well. And today's topic is this. 짠! Korean sentence ending, which is important Korean grammar. 자나 or 자나요. 자나 or 자나요. So it means like, you know, but I'll give you more details explanation very, very, very soon. But in the meanwhile, as usual, <laughs> I have announcement, right? 짠! Today's announcement is this. So if you click the link in the description, you will see a page like this. Oh, what is this page for? Here, you can test your Korean level. Previously, I got some comments like, oh, teacher, the page doesn't work. But this time, it should work. <laughs> so please check out. If the page doesn't work, that means you are not signing up for koreanclass101.com. This page is open for free for Korean Class 101 members. So how can you be the member? Just sign up. You enter your email address here. Do you see the email form here? Yes. Just enter your email and join now. <laughs> That's it. We do have paid membership like premium subscription, premium subs premium plus subscription, basic subscription, but to test test your level, test your Korean level, you do not need any paid membership. Just sign up as a free member and test your Korean level. <laughs> 안녕하세요. Change your thinking. Sheila and 방탄소년단. <laughs> uh, clown, is it the same as Jio? Nope. It's completely different from Jio. Jio is completely different. <laughs> different. So you should keep watching it. <laughs> so let me show you this page quickly. Yes. If you scroll down. Yes, you're gonna see like this, the instructions. And, whoo, yes, this is a scoring system. And just click the button here, start test, 
start test if you want to test your Korean level. Again, this is free and there are 40, 40 questions. So if you have just like two minutes, maybe <laughs> you should try that another time, another time. But please, please test your Korean. It's very important. <laughs> uh, 안전히 저는 잘 지내요. 고마워요. <laughs> okay. 아, 코아티 감사합니다. <laughs> 키마나 안녕하세요. So, let's start our lesson. Today's lesson is, as I mentioned, is 자나 or 자나요. By the way, this is, <laughs> this is just uh, my situation right now. I got pimple and my I have my puffy face, swollen face. <laughs> so, this is not today's topic. Today's topic is this. 자나. This is casual. 자나. 자나요. Or 잔습니까? So this is casual. 자나. 자나요. 잔습니까? Oh, it's a real surprise, is it? <laughs> 정미 안녕하세요 and 사봉 and little shisty. Okay, so this is actually an intermediate grammar. So are you a beginner or are you an intermediate learner? Hmm. If you're a beginner, don't worry. It's big. It's not beginner. It's intermediate because. There's some nuance, nuance. Usually when you have some nuance in another language, it's difficult to understand because this nuance does not exist in English. It does not exist in English, so you cannot really translate. That's why it's intermediate, but the conjugation is super easy. And this is very, 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 very common. <laughs> I use it to my mom yesterday too. So this is very common. So. If you are a beginner, congratulations! Because now you learn this grammar early. So when you watch Korean dramas, Korean uh, movies, you will hear this this pattern, this sentence ending a lot. So you can get the nuance earlier than other Korean learners. So congratulations! And if you are upper beginners, you are intermediate learners, then good for you too. Because this is perfect for your level right now <laughs> Brian I'm eager to learn great okay so let me give you some quick quick insight about this Chana is actually from Chiana Chiana yo or Chi Ansunika so it's actually from this form do you know this? What it means? It means not, right? So, for example, for example, 먹다 meaning to eat. 먹지 않아 means not eat, not eat. So, for example, 침침이는 can't think of any food. <laughs> 바나나를 먹지 않아? So 침침 does not eat banana? Doesn't 침침 eat banana? So this is simply just means the negative, negative. This is the original form. And these are shortened form. However, when it got shortened, the meaning changed completely. So this is the original form, original form, but when it got shortened, the meaning changed completely. So, forgot about this. <laughs> I just want to show you the origin, origin. But don't worry about that. And if you can't remember, don't worry. It's nothing to do with it anymore. It has completely different meaning. What meaning is it? Hmm. Summary. Basically, 자나 or 자나요 explains a reason or giving information that both 
speaker and listener know uh, or they should know. What does that mean? For example, I want to say this. Mm, oh! 춥잖아요. Oh, let me put it here. Sorry. 춥잖아요. 춥잖아요. So there is a sentence like this. 춥잖아요. 춥잖아요. So what's the difference between 춥, 추워요 versus 춥잖아요? 추워요 is just a statement. Statement. It doesn't have any nuance. It's just fact. Oh, it's cold. Or I'm cold. I'm cold. Oh, I'm cold. 추워요. That's it. It's just statement. There's no nuance. No nuance. But 춥잖아요 means exactly the same. I feel cold. But the nuance is different. Nuance is different. So maybe, maybe uh, I'm wearing the coat. And Chim Chim is saying, hey, Kejin, why are you wearing coat in Korea? Why are you wearing coat? So I'm, say I'm saying this. 춥잖아요. 춥잖아요. Don't you remember? Korea is very cold. You know that Korea is very cold, right? Because it's cold. Because it's cold. Korea is very cold. You know that, right? So it has nuance. 추워요 is just fact. Oh, I feel cold. 춥잖아요 has nuance. Oh, as you already know, you know Korea is cold. As you know, Korea is cold. So, beginners, for beginners, you only need to know this. 추워요, 추워요. But intermediate learners, now you need to know some Korean nuance, right? It just means it's cold, that's it. It doesn't have any other meaning. But it has some nuance, which is, as you know, you know, Korea is cold. As you know, or because it's cold, as you know. So 춥잖아요 has some nuance. I'll explain more about the nuance very soon because it's very important, the nuance. Because of this nuance, it's intermediate grammar. It's the conjugation is super easy. Um, 자나, the pronunciation is super easy. But the nuance is difficult to translate it into English. That's why it's intermediate. Intermediate. Wanna get agreement? Ah, that's also correct. So let's look at some more point too. Please remember 자나요 is colloquial. Colloquial. So when I speak with my friends, family, or when I speak with others, I often use 자나요, 춥잖아요, 먹잖아요, 가잖아요. But I don't use it in formal settings. So for example, you're watching mm, news, Korean news. The announcers would not use 나니 나니 자나요. No, it sounds very colloquial. It doesn't sound professional. So in professional setting at work or in the news or some presentation, I wouldn't use 자나요 unless I want to sound friendly. Um, unless I want to sound friendly. So please remember this is colloquial. That's why you will find a lot in Korean drama. Korean dramas or Korean movies. It's oh, super common. <laughs> 뭐뭐 자나요. 뭐뭐 자나요. 춥잖아요. So, let's look at the conjugation. As I mentioned, conjugation is super easy. Just get the stem and put 자나 or 자나요 or 잔습니까? Casual form. Casual form. When can you use casual form? Mm. When I talk to my friends or when I talk to my siblings, I use a casual form. 자나, 자나. How can I use it? Get the stem. What is the stem? What is the stem of the verb or adjective? For example, 가다 is the verb meaning to go. You go somewhere. 가다, 가다. Now I want to conjugate it with 자다. Not 자다, 자나. <laughs> How can I do that? Just get the stem. What is the stem? Just remove 다 at the end. 가 is the stem. Always verb or adjective, Korean verb or adjective, end with 다. Just remove 다. That's it. The left part is stem. 
있죠? 가잖아 가잖아 For example 한국에 가잖아 So for example 침침 is crying So I asked 침침 what happened? Why are you crying? 음내 친구가 한국에 가잖아 Probably Chim Chim is living in another country. Imagine Chim Chim is living in 미국. 미국. 미국 means United States, USA. So Chim Chim is living in United States and the Chim Chim's best friend is going back to Korea. So he can't meet his best friend every day anymore. So Chim Chim is crying. So I said, Chim Chim, why are you crying? 내 친구가 한국에 가잖아. 내 친구. My friend, 내, my, 친구, 친구 friend, 가 is a particle, making 내 친구 as the subject of the sentence. 한국, the name of the Korea in Korean. 한국, 에, 에 means like to, so to Korea. 가잖아 means just go. So my friend is going to Korea. And now you know that it has some nuance, right? It explained the reason. And also giving the information both speaker and listener know. So I already know that his friend is going and probably I forgot. So I forgot and Chim Chim is crying. So he said, hey, as you know, my best friend is going to Korea. <laughs> I can't meet meet him or her every day anymore. So 내 친구가 한국에 가잖아. 가잖아. <laughs> or let's use the polite form now i'm talking with my neighbors neighbors with the neighbors the neighbor is much older than me maybe uh the neighbor is um, 50 years old uh, 60 years old so he or she is much older than me so i'm talking to them and now i want to conjugate with this one 비싸다 비싸다 meaning too expensive expensive and it's an adjective as you know what what is the stem what is the stem remove that hmm, so pizza is the stem so you just put zanayo after pizza that's it so you get the stem and put zanayo that's it the conjugation is super easy so now uh, i'm making this Mm. How about this? So, I went to a department store. Department store in Korean is 백화점. 백화점에 갔어요. So I went to 백화점. 백화점에 갔어요. And I was looking at some bag like this. Hmm. And I ended up not buying it because it was expensive. So my neighbor is asking, Hey, it looks like you really like the bag, but why didn't you buy it? You like it, right? And I said, 네, 가방이 예쁜데, That bag is very pretty, but 저 가방은 비싸잖아요. 저 가방은 비싸잖아요. 저, that, 가방, bag. So that bag, un, topping marking particle, is kind of similar to subject marking particle here. So 저 가방은, that bag is expensive, expensive. So the, 저 가방은 비싸잖아요. But I use the 잖아요, 잖아요 form to give this kind of nuance. Explain the reason and you know that bag is expensive. As you know, both you and I know, the speaker and listener know, as you know, that bag is too expensive. I can't buy it. 저 가방은 비싸잖아요. So, the conjugation is very simple. Very simple. Just stem plus 잖아 or 잖아요. In the FOMA form, you can just use like this. 비싸다. Remove 다 get the stem. To get the stem. 비싸 plus 비싸지 않습니까? So you can use it, but in formal, uh, formal setting, you don't really use it so commonly. You don't 
really use it so commonly. So 비싸지 않습니까? You can use it uh, when you use the formal form, but in informal setting. Did you get it? For example, I'm very polite to my neighbors. The neighbor is much older than me. So I'm always using the formal form, but talking with my neighbor is informal setting, right? It's not a formal setting. It's not business pre presentation. It's not um, any professional meeting. It's just informal setting. I'm just using the formal form with them. So I can say that, ah, 저 가방은 비싸지 않습니까? 비싸지 않습니까? You can say that in informal setting, but in formal setting, you do not use it. Okay. Oh, uh, Stan, Chanel, 맞아요. Maybe that bag was Chanel, or Gucci, or Louis Vuitton. <laughs> so, it was too expensive for me. <laughs> 저 가방은 비싸잖아요. So, let's look at the nuance. Nuance. Because that's the hardest part. So, first, nuance. It has several nuance. So I want to introduce one by one. So first nuance that I want to show you is this. As you know, as you know, so confirm the information the listener already know or has forgotten. So here's an example. 너또 찾았어? 너또 찾았어? Ah, Emily, can 자나요 be used in a rude uh, way depending on the tone? Exactly. I'm going to introduce it very soon too. Yes, very soon. <laughs> Quality, these days, uh, prices are rising. That's right. Jungmi, my bag is expensive. Ooh, nice. <laughs> but come, 돈이 없잖아. Exactly. 돈이 없어요. I don't have money. <laughs> so, do you know what it means? 너또 찾았어? 너또 찾았어? 너, you. But by the way, usually we don't use you directly in daily life, but when our relationship is very close, maybe my younger brother or my best friend, my close friends or my just friends, or someone who is younger than me, then I use not directly no you but in other situation we usually do not use no directly because that's too direct we use their name instead so no you do again ta car car so but so it's a past tense of to buy to buy purchase yes toa yes i'm back this is real life Exactly. You buy a car again? <laughs> That's the meaning. That's the meaning. Did you buy another car? Tell me exactly. What? You bought the you bought a car again? Did you buy a car again? And B is saying, Um, 나는 돈이 많잖아. <laughs> 응, 나는 돈이 많잖아. What does that mean? 응. Yes, yes, it's informal way to say yes. It's like yeah, yeah <laughs> in English. 나는 I don't money. <laughs> 많잖아, 많잖아. So it means I have a lot of money. So as you know, uh, yes, as you know, I have a lot of money. So I'm confirming the information that you already know. As you know, oh, probably you forgot. Mm. I'm recalling you, I'm reminding you again that I have a lot of money, as you know. <laughs> so it has this kind of nuance. As you know, or um, probably you forgot, but let me, let me remind you again. As you know, I'm very rich. I do have a lot of money. So <laughs> here, the nuance is like this. As you already know, as you already know. So I'm reminding you again. Or I'm confirming the information again because you probably forgotten. <laughs> as you know. So it's like, as you know. 너또 찾았어? Mm, of course. Because I'm rich. I do have a lot of money. 나는 돈이 많잖아. <laughs> so it has that kind of nuance. As you know, as you know. Oh, did you forget that I have a lot of money? <laughs> so in that case, if you, you and the listener already know the information and you want to remind the information you, you want to reconfirm the information again then you use 자나 again 자나 자나 
The second nuance. Oops. <laughs> the second nuance is this. You know what? You don't know. So giving new information that the listener should know or be aware. So this is a sentence that I actually <laughs> said to my mom. So Dubai는 햇볕이 강해요. Dubai is the name of the city. Name of the city. You know Dubai, right? Dubai in Arab Emirates. <laughs> Dubai. 햇볕 is sunlight. Sunlight. And e particle and 강해요 means strong in Dubai. Sunlight is strong. <laughs> 그래서 그래서 means so or that's why. 저 means I. 엄청 탔잖아요. 그래서 저 엄청 탔잖아요. 그래서 저 엄청 탔잖아요. <laughs> 엄청 very very or a lot a lot. 타다 is from 타다 but it's a past tense I got tent I got tent so I got tent a lot and I'm using 자나요 here because I'm giving a new information to my mom oh you should know that <laughs> you should know you know what you know what I got tent a lot <laughs> you know what I got tent a lot so I'm giving new information to my mom. You should know that. Oh, you know? <laughs> you know what? So in English, it's like, you know what? I'm giving the new information. You know what? You know this information. You should know. <laughs> but you should be careful because it sounds like you're giving a new information that listeners should know. So as Emily said, if you just say, 그래서 엄청 탔잖아요. 그래서 엄청 탔잖아요. Uh, depending on your tone, it sounds like you don't know. H how can you not know? You forgot? You don't know? Dubai is really hot. So it sounds like <laughs> it sounds like you are like, how can you not know? How dare? <laughs> so it sounds it, it can sound rude. So depending on your tone. <laughs> oh, Amor, oh, you are living in Dubai. <laughs> yes. Dubai, I know it's very hot. I got, I experienced that and I got tanned a lot. So I should show that. I got tanned a lot. And when I show this to other people, people are like, is it really tanned a lot? But I should really show that. <laughs> I used to be like this, but in Dubai, <laughs> in Dubai and Europe, I traveled in <laughs> France and the sunlight. 햇볕이 엄청 강해요. So I got tanned a lot. And my face too. I got tanned a lot. <laughs> a lot. So, yes. <laughs> 그래서 저 엄청 탔잖아요. You know what? I got tanned a lot. <laughs> so I use this when I give the new information that you should know. You as a listener should know. <laughs> So be careful, be careful with the tone when you say 그래서 탔잖아요. It's, it's like you don't know. I got tent. <laughs> so be careful, be careful. <laughs> Clown will, wow, what a big difference. Yes, yes, I got tent really a lot. <laughs> and there's another nuance. Another nuance which is like this. You should know that. You should know that. So we use this when you give an advice. When you give advice uh, to other people. So when you give advice or when correcting what the listener has said. Or insisting that what the speaker, me, said. Insisting that what I said is correct. For example, Shimchimi is saying, 배고파, 배고파. 침침이 saying that I'm hungry. So I'm saying this. 그래서 아까 점심 먹으라고 했잖아. <laughs> so I gave you advice before. I'm insisting. What I what I said is correct. I told you I I told you to have lunch 
before and what I said is correct right since you didn't listen to me now you're hungry <laughs> so you should know that where I told you so my advice before was correct so like this 그래서 that's why 아까 before a while ago 점심 lunch 먹으라고 먹으라고 했다 먹으라도 먹으라고 했다 it means i told you to eat i told you to eat 먹으라 먹으라 is like to eat eat and 라고 라고 했다 means told you told you so 먹으라고 means i told you that's why i told you to have lunch before <laughs> so the the nuance is say my advice was correct before so you should know that i was correct right so i'm i'm saying that i'm correct i was correct before so you should know that you should know that so there are several nuances like this you know what you know what the most common nuance is this i will say this as you know as you know and the second nuance is when you give a uh when you give new information it's just like you know what you know what <laughs> it's it's the information that you should know and the third nuance is uh, <sighs> my advice my advice is correct you should know that i already told you i was correct or you are wrong what well, you are wrong <laughs> i'm trying to correct you because my information previously my previous information was correct 정미 아까 말했잖아. That's a good expression. Yes. So, you can use this as a statement, statement to or question. And the nuance is different. So, for example, 이 옷은 비싸잖아요. 이 옷은 비싸잖아요. 이 옷. 이 means this. 옷 means clothes. And 비싸잖아, we already talked about it, right? So this clothes is expensive, but what nuance is it? As you know, the clothes is expensive. As you know, uh, this clothes is ex expensive. So it sounds like I'm talking about the information that you know and I also know. So the information that both of us already know. But if you use it as a question, you <gasps> 비싸잖아요. Then what's the difference? You 비싸잖아요. The nuance is a little bit different. It's like, uh, this clothes is expensive, right? So I'm asking for agreement. When it's used it as a question, question, question like this, 이 옷은 비싸잖아요? 비싸잖아요? Then I'm asking for agreement. You're gonna agree with me, right? This clothes is expensive, right? If this clothes is expensive, isn't it? 이 옷은 비싸잖아요? So, be careful. It's the same grammar, but the nuance is different if you use it in the statement or if you use it in a question. So, this one is like, as you know, as you know, it's so expensive. <laughs> but this one, but this one is more like, uh, right? Isn't it? Right? Or isn't it? <laughs> so these are different different okay so let's move on next we have this Tanayo and Chiana if you watched my video from the beginning <laughs> if you watched my video from the beginning then you probably remember. 자나 is shortened form of 지아나 So is the meaning same? But as you probably remember No, it's different Oh, this clothes is pretty Oh, 예쁘잖아, 예쁘잖아 Why did you buy this clothes? As you know, as you know This, this clothes is pretty 예쁘잖아 But if you say 예쁘지 않아 That just means it's not pretty It's not pretty <laughs> So, what do you think about this uh, clothes? Ah, 예쁘지 않아. Mm, 예쁘지 않아. It's not pretty. 
it's not pretty so the meaning is completely different even though it's a shortened form the meaning is completely different now so 예쁘잖아 means as you know it's pretty 예쁘잖아 means it's not pretty it's completely opposite so please be careful <laughs> be careful and as Jungmi said as Jungmi said yes <laughs> here are some common phrases common phrases or like this first one is 있잖아 있잖아 can you guess what's the the original form of this verb 있다 plus 잖아 있다 있다 means is to have exist where there is and 잖아 means as you know so 있잖아 means like you know <laughs> you know what you know what so it's a filler word so it doesn't mean anything actually but a lot of people use it at the beginning like uh, you know you know what so it literally means uh, it doesn't the, it, the exact translation does, doesn't exist in English but it sounds like you know what or you know as you know there is something as you know there is something which i want to tell you <laughs> so itana is just filler words filler words it's like you know what you know what when you want to say something uh people start with this word it's like hey i'm gonna say something itana itana or this 말했잖아 말했잖아 i told you so is 말했다 plus Tana Malheta means I told, I said, I said. It's a past form of Malhada, Malhada, meaning to speak, to say, to tell. And Maretan, I told you so. So very often you use it when you kind of complain to other people. <laughs> For example, Oh, I didn't bring umbrella, but it rains. Maretana, <laughs> it will rain. I told you so, it will rain. <laughs> So I told you so. 말했잖아. So 있잖아 and 말했잖아 are very commonly used in daily conversation. 말했잖아. I told you so. 있잖아. You know what? As a filler word, when you start a conversation or when you uh, want to say something before that, you say this. 있잖아. 말했잖아. So that's it for today's lesson. <laughs> So I just want to quickly review again, review again. So this one is, this one doesn't mean anything basically, but it has nuance. You explain the reason or giving information that you and I should know or you and I already know. And very often it's used in spoken form, spoken form. We do not use it in written form unless unless it's like social media social media we use colloquial form colloquial like spoken form so it's okay but in writing a report writing uh something uh article you do not use this form so this is colloquial you do not use it in formal setting like business meeting or um presentation so casually you use this ending chana politely you use chanayo and Formal ending is 잔습니까? 잔습니까? But again, you do not use in a formal setting. But in formal setting, you can still use the formal, formal uh, ending in informal setting if you want to be very polite. In that case, you can use 잔습니까? But again, in business formal setting, you do not use this. So the nuance is like this. Number one, as you know, as you know, you're talking about some information that you and I already know or probably you forgot so I'm reminding you as you know second nuance is you know what I'm giving the giving you the new information that you should know I got tend a lot <laughs> so you, it's like you know what or if you use the um, a little bit annoying tone <laughs> then it sounds like you don't know how can you not know you don't know you should know this information <laughs> so be careful third information is saying 
my advice was correct. What I was saying, what I, what I was saying, correct. I was correct, right? So you are correcting other people because I was correct. <웃음> 아까 점심 먹으라고 했잖아. That's why I told you to have lunch before. <웃음> so you are insisting that your advice, previous advice, was correct. So you should know that I was correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in the statement, if you use a statement as point at the end, period, then it's like as you know. But if you use it as a question mark, it's like, right? Agree with me, isn't it? Agree with me. <laughs> you asking, invite someone to agree with you. And if you use it as 잖아, then it means as you know, like 예쁘잖아 means oh, be as you know is pretty. But if you use 지아나, which is the original form, it just means not. It's not pretty. And common phrase is 있잖아. You know what? 말했잖아. I told you so. It's very common in Korea. Okay, so here's the homework for you. Chim Chim is saying, 이책왜안 사? Oh, <laughs> I didn't intend it, but there is space after every single word, but this is grammatically correct. 이 책, 이 means this. 책 means book. 이 책 means this book. Why? 왜? 왜 means why. <laughs> why? 안 means not. 사, 사 means buy. So, this book, why not buy? <laughs> Did you get it? What it means? It means, why don't you buy this book? Probably you and Chim Chim met in the bookstore and you are looking at some book. And then you ended up not buying it. So Chim Chim is asking, oh, why don't you not buy? Why, why do you not buy this book? Why, do you, oh, why don't you buy this book? Why did you not buy? <laughs> And you can probably say some reason. As you know, this book is blah blah blah. Maybe you can say, as you know, this book is boring. Or, as you know, this book is expensive. As you know, I don't like this book. <laughs> as you know, blah blah blah. So you can uh, make some reason, reason by explaining uh, some giving some information that you and Chim Chim already know. So, so please do this homework and leave a comment on our YouTube and Facebook on Korean Class 101. And if you personally want me to check, then you can tag me on Instagram with super on the right Cajun. <laughs> then I'll check your homework too. <laughs> Sup super Cajun. So I can check or okay course you can leave a comment on korean class korean class 101.com youtube and facebook youtube and facebook this is homework for you to practice today's grammar <laughs> okay and of course i'll be back next week next week will be july 21st 7월 21일 라이브 주제는요 korean buzzword in 2020 <laughs> so i'm going to introduce some popular korean new words that were very very popular this year and even last year too so please join it it will be very very useful too <laughs> so thank you very much oh Edgar, 감사합니다. i'm glad that, <laughs> that you like my lesson and kwati and teshu and jongmi philitus emily <laughs> deja and Mr. Teddy, <laughs> what is 결혼? 결혼 means marriage, marriage, wedding, wedding. Kim Hana, LJ. <laughs> so thank you very much, and I'll see you next week. And of course, on Facebook too. Allah, Nengailom, Neuski. What? Oh! Well, it just means as you know, but chana, chana is the ending. Ashidashpi is kind of like adverb, as you know. But 
자나 is a sentence ending. Sentence ending. And the 니앙 is like as you know. As, and 아시다시피 is I should write it here for YouTube people to 아시다시피 It means as you know and it's an adverb and 자나 is means nothing as you know 아시다시피 is direct translation of as you know but 자나 means nothing but it has the 뉘앙스 of as you know or you know you know and this is sentence ending that's a good question thank you Utsuki <laughs> and Kailon and Luna and uh, Shiva Isongon okay so thank you very much and Utsuki sorry for the giving you the answer very late I hope you are still here <laughs> So thank you very much and I'll see you next week with this new topic. 감사합니다. 다음 시간에 봐요. 안녕. 안녕히 가세요. And 춤추면 추세요. Bye too. Bye bye. 안녕히 안녕히 가세요. Bye bye.